Welcome to the Ventura Rock Spot. My name is Pam Baumgartner. The Ventura Rock Spot is a show that highlights artists in and around the 805, as well as the artists who come to the 805 to play. We have a website that we want you to check out as well. Not only can you find out how to be an artist on the Ventura Rock Spot, but you can see past episodes. We have like 24 of them posted right now with artists like um, Kyle Smith, Crooked Eye Tommy. We have uh, Mark Masson from Shaky Feeling, How to Live with Robots, Jody Farrell, um, Brother Earl and the Cousins. Like I said, there's like 24 episodes. So dig in and enjoy. Let us know what you think. Our producer behind the scenes is Michelle Hoover. So we want to thank her for doing that. Michelle Hoover and GWC Productions. And now we're going to introduce Jaden Seekar, our guest today. Jaden, how are you? I feel like I know you already, but yeah. we've never <laughs> met before. Yeah, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So you're, I would consider, and I, I, I don't mean any disrespect whatsoever, but you're a newbie on the scene. I mean, you're like 18 years old, right? Yeah, fairly new. I am. Um, as far as like being more professional, I guess I'm fairly new with that. You know, I just releasing the EP, my debut EP behind the door has really kind of opened me up to new opportunities. But I mean, I've been playing in and around Ventura for about four or five years now, just open mics and, and playing shows just constantly. But um, it's really nice to be able to um, have a piece of work to go around and kind of promote when I'm playing kind of stuff. You know, it's, it's awesome. I have to ask. Bulldog or a cougar? Cougar. Yeah, I'm a I'm a uh, Ventura High alumni, so uh, yeah, I'm all about the cougars. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so now let's jump into the subject of music and tell me your background and how you developed knowing that you were going to be a musician. That how did it all first start start out for you? Well. Um, I was born in Ventura, and when I was fairly young, we moved to Vegas for about 10 years. And um, somewhere in between, I don't remember the exact year, but one Christmas, I uh, my parents gifted me an electric guitar. It's actually it's actually that one right there, uh, my first guitar. And um, I was so excited to get it, but I didn't know how to play it. And it kind of just sat in the corner of my room for a while. And when we moved back to Ventura... Um, I just, something sparked and I just picked up the guitar and really got into it. And, uh, I mean, it all just kind of, um, snowballed from there. You know, I was, I started a band with a couple of my buddies in uh, middle school and, um, I started going to local open mics, um, with the beers brothers, um, Mike and Josh beers. They have been with me like since the start and, um, yeah, just, you know, really playing as much as possible with older musicians, you know, kind of, uh, helping me like push me along and, and give me feedback and um, really help me along on my journey. And, um, you know, we've ended up here where, you know, I'm releasing my debut EP and, you know, I've got music that I can show people and, you know, it's been an awesome journey. Good. Okay. So I have many questions to ask based on what you just said, okay. but I want to actually have you play a song now. So we know the feel of what you're all about. So why don't oh, you sure. go ahead and play a song for us? What's it called for starters? Um, I'm going to play the title track off of my EP called behind the door, um, the song behind the door. And um, it's all about luck. And um, I really hope you guys enjoy it. a coin into the world I'm moved by these cards that I fold Riptides turn and burn my sturdy frame But what will my structure show With nowhere to go When will I Stay the same Or will I still crumble At its sound The rain will wash it All the way But 
But it never wants to stay another day With nowhere to go When will I know That this road is gonna no, take me where I need to be When will I know Keep rolling down the line Time after time after time It leaves me wanting more It's nothing I ain't seen before What's behind the door With nowhere to go When will I Very nice. Very nice indeed, Jaden. Thank you. All right, let's go back to talking about the open mics. Now, where were these open mics at? I know the Beers Brothers had a number of them. There was one at Amigos for a while. Yep. Um, where, where have you been doing these? Or where um, had you been doing these? Yeah, I have. Um, I did them when Amigos was still around. And, you know, it's a big bummer that that place has been gone for a while. But, uh, Certainly yeah, is. Amigos, I've done them at... Um, Oak and Main, Hong Kong Inn, Leashless Brewing, um, a lot of the local places around um, where they had them, I was, I've been there. So um, yeah, I was just, I would go every week and, um, you know, I would also do other open mic nights that weren't even the Beers Brothers. You know, I would go out to Newberry Park to do open mics and there were some various other different ones. And um, earlier last year, Earlier last year, um, I was going to the winery during the blues jams, and um, that was a lot of fun, too. So it's really just getting out everywhere I can play, and um, it was a blast, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember going out for your very first open mic? What was that like? I do. Um, my parents posted it on Facebook, and so every time the memory comes up, they show me, and it's uh, it's kind of mind-boggling to kind of compare that Jaden to now Jaden. And... Um, <laughs> Yeah, it was, it's, it was like a real thrill ride because when I went there and I played, it was just kind of like, this is something I really enjoy. And um, I just kept on going back. And then, you know, there I was playing every single night and I, I turned in to be part of the house band with the Beers Brothers. So uh, yeah, it was a total full circle moment. Very nice. And that's the thing about open mics. It's such a great opportunity for people who haven't been playing before and even people that had been playing before to actually develop your skills right. and, and become used to operating in front of an, an audience because not everyone can do that. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it's definitely, and I feel like that, that the open mics have really um, brought me to who I am as far as like stage presence and stuff like that. I mean, for somebody my age, I feel like I'm, I'm very comfortable compared to others. Um, when I'm on stage, you know, in front of people, just because of the amount of hours I put in, in front of just random people at the open mics. Yeah, that's awesome. So you, you mentioned the Beers Brothers, who else have you collaborated with? Who else have you played with? Um, I've played with a, <laughs> quite a lot of people. Uh, right now I am um, currently in deep collaboration with um, mm. Dylan Garcia and yep. Joe Henry the third. Um, they're both local musicians and they're they're great people. Um I, hey, Dylan sent me the song that you played on. Um it was a Tom Petty cover, right? Yeah, yeah. We played we did a recording of Won't Back Down and, and that was a lot of fun. And um that was a really cool experience to be working with Dylan. And then we just kind of hit it off from there. And you know, we're still working um we're still working on more songs now. So that's great. And yeah. you, you mentioned Joe Henry, who else? Um, so I've, I've played with Joe Henry, Don Garcia. Um, I am good friends with Guy Martin. 
he, um, I recorded the album, um, my EP, sorry, at Black Cup Studio, which is Guy Martin's studio. And uh, me and him have gotten a good rapport to just, you know, hitting it off with, you know, playing blues and we're both Strat guys. So it was, you know, it was awesome. Yeah. Well, I just taught to Guy Martin earlier this evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I was actually talking to him about a different subject about doing a Ventura Rock Spot. And I mentioned oh, nice. that you were going to be on the show tonight. And um, he said that he just adored you and he thought you were fabulous. And I said, so do you have any little anecdotes or stories you can tell me about, Jaden? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he told me about how after you would be done doing a song you would roll into doing Bob Seger yeah 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 we um he got it on on uh recording and he wanted to put it in at like the end of a song and uh I did a really bad interpretation of like singing night moves and uh night yeah. moves that's the song <laughs> he couldn't think of which one it was he knew it wasn't um uh, turn the page. Yeah, but, uh, he knew, oh, that's great. That's so funny. <laughs> and he also said that you were you're really good at um, eating all the Twix out of the candy bowl. Oh yeah, he spoiled me. He like left out these. He's got different bowls of just like chocolate bars around the studio. So when I'm not doing anything, I'm just sitting there like, oh, like I really like Twix. So I would just eat a Twix. <laughs> all right. So you ready to do another song? Oh sure. Yes. Uh, this one's called Patterns. It's also off of uh, Behind the Door.
Nice job. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. Going back to the EP behind the door, mm -hmm. did Guy actually produce it or did somebody else produce that? No, it was it was all in house with um, with me, the Beers Brothers, and Guy. Yeah, it was all okay. just me, Guy, and the Beers Brothers. Um, he, you know, mixed and mastered it all and helped give creative input. And um, yeah, it was it was a real treat to work with him. It was a lot of fun. How in the world did you get to play at the Libero Theater? How did explain that story to me? So um, I worked with a um, program called Notes for Notes, and it's a nonprofit organization that helps bring music to um, younger, you know, students. Um, and basically, with the help of the Beers Brothers, with Josh Beers. Um, I got into the Notes for Notes program and I gave lessons during the summer, I think two summers. And, um, you know, just on my free time, I would give um, guitar lessons. And the people at Notes for Notes reached out to me and said, we have this great opportunity. Um, you know, Steve Miller Band is doing a fundraiser at the Libero Theater for Notes for Notes. And um, they asked me to join him on stage for a couple of songs. And I was like, heck yeah, I want to do that. Um, so, yeah, it was it was totally an awesome moment because, um, you know, being able to play on stage with somebody that you listened to growing up is something that's like totally like I, I couldn't even imagine it. And um, it was such an awesome experience. I, I can't even imagine having that kind of opportunity. That is so well done on your behalf. Um, notes for notes. Now they have it. It's the one over there on the avenue, right? So they used to have it there. Yes. They just recently shut it down, which is very unfortunate, but um, they still have them at different boys and girls clubs all over the States. And so it's still a very, um, a very awesome program. Um, but yeah, the one at the Avenue, they just, they just shut it down fairly recently. So. Yeah. Now is that permanently or just because of the pandemic? Um, I think it's permanently. I'm just so thrilled to see people like you and other artists coming out of Ventura High that they're like, there's a whole bunch of you guys that are, are, are budding and, and coming out and producing new music. Um, do you know all these other artists out of, because they're all actually out of Ventura High School as well, right? Yeah, yeah. I know, I know quite a few of them. I mean, um, obviously Kyle, which is probably one of the biggest ones right now who came out of Ventura Super High. Kyle? Yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome. But um, yeah, a lot of my buddies, I mean, like I said, I had formed a band in middle school and we took it to high school and and we had kind of built, I shouldn't say that we built it, but there were quite a few different bands in Ventura High that we all played the same shows and we and the same venues around Ventura. And it was really awesome to kind of see people like my age. Um, it was awesome to see them, you know, in the music scene. So as a young artist, one of the things, you know, I help support Ventura's music scene with Ventura Rocks and writing for the breeze and everything. And one of the things that I really find disturbing is that there's not an all ages club. I mean, like you could get in, sneak in and do a, an open mic here and there, but there's no real scene for a younger crew to go out and play and listen to music. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you find I, that true? Go ahead. Do you, you also find that to be true? I do. Yes. I've, I've found that issue. And I mean, I'm still finding that issue. You know, I'm not at, I'm not 21 yet, you know, I'm 18 still. Um, but you know, with the open mics and stuff like that, you know, I've had the same experience where, you know, I, I try to stay past the 10 o'clock curfew in order to just play music. You know, I'm not there to party and have a good time. I mean, I'm just there to play music and just have fun, you know, and, and it's really unfortunate that, like you said, there's not a all ages club for people like me to be able to, you know, showcase their music. It's just wonderful because that ensures that there's going to be a future music scene for us. Right. Definitely. Yeah. That's always very important. Yeah. OK, why don't you go ahead and do another song? OK, cool. Um, this one is called Other Girl. It's off behind the door. I 
I've seen you there under his red light What kills me the most is that I thought you were mine Only mine So take that back and walk on out And don't come crawling back Turns out you just some other girl Seasons come and seasons go But winter stay too long My heart grew cold from the rain and the snow also saw on social media that you were out in Nashville? Yes, yes. Um, that was always a uh, kind of a dream for me um, to go out there to Music City just because the name Nashville um, from a musician standpoint is such like a big name. And uh, it really kind of lived up to it when I went. And, um, you know, it was during COVID. So it was a little bit of a bummer. But at the time, things were still kind of open. And um, my buddy, Chris Austin, um, which you guys might know, um, I do. he had, yeah, he recently moved out there and, um, hooked me up with a couple different shows to play. And so I played at, um, I played at a uh, full throttle bar and grill and the Bellport taps. And, um, it was just an amazing experience. I mean, it's cool to say like I played a show in Nashville. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it was, it was an awesome experience and to be able to see the different music scene out there and, and just the city in general, it was, it was awesome. It was amazing. Right. Right. So we're, we're running out of time, but I want to talk a little bit about your aspirations. Are you going to be going to college or? Yes. So I'm, I'm currently enrolled at Cal Lutheran. I'm a freshman and um, I'm double majoring in um, music production and business administration. So, um, okay, so, that's so yeah. Help you on both ends. Yeah. So Good. yeah, that's, okay. it's been a real treat. So. Well, it sounds to me like you're doing everything right. You're aligning <laughs> with really good people. You're getting your butt out there. You're performing. You're writing. And that's actually one of the things I did want to ask you about is your writing process. And, mm -hmm. and how, how do you form the music that you do? Um, well, you know, I'm, I'm really a, a true guitar player at heart. So a lot of this stuff comes from the guitar first, you know. And um, I really just, I know this is so cheesy and cliche to say, but I just kind of play what I feel and yeah. uh, whatever comes to me, if I'm like, oh, that sounds like really nice and I could write something about that, then I'll stick on the idea and um, just kind of run with it and see where it takes me. So you're saying the guitar comes first, you find something you, you enjoy and then yeah. kind of... Yeah, 90% of the time, it's usually guitar, unless there's just like a line that's stuck in my head that I'm like, I need to get that onto something. Um, right. Usually, yeah, usually it's, it's the guitar that comes first. Good. All right. Well, congratulations. Um, Thank you. You just, you have a great strong head on your shoulders. It sounds like you had a, a family that supports you like Definitely. none other. Definitely. And the community, Ventura, there's nothing better than this place um, in, in nurturing young musicians like yourself. And uh, just very well done. And I'm looking forward to big things from you, Jaden. Thank you very much, Pam. Thank you. This is an unreleased song called Astray. Fly. 
fighting out of this thick and thin Reaching out for your hand Too many times I've wondered what we could be But I'm better off on my own That's because I told you Get out of my way before I let you stay Get out of my way before I let you stay I've seen better nights And I'm going on Better days I can't wipe your eyes Off my stupid face And I've been longing for your Sweet embrace But I know I know you won't believe me And that's because Get out of my way before I let you stay. And get out of my way before you lead me astray. Get out of my way before I let you stay. Get out of my way. Get out of my way before I let you stay. Get out of my way before you leave me astray. I don't want to be no more with you by my side. So get out of my way before you leave me astray. Well, on behalf of Jaden Secor and Michelle Hoover and GWC Productions, R Ventura TV, and VenturaRocks.com, I'm Pam Baumgartner. I want to thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you next time.